Hey everybody, got some banjo fun for you in the key of D. And we're gonna do a little exercise first. We're in the D tuning, which sounds like this. Got an A string, the short string to A. And that middle string's an A, low A. Got a low D and a second string D. And then you got the first string, an E, kind of the mysterious note. So what we're going to do first, let's just look at our little uh, harmonized scale. We've done this a little bit, and it's a great uh, arranging device, but it comes with these shapes come in handy for uh, the tune we're going to do is Black Eyed Susie, a great song. So there's our first little shape, and the nice thing about uh, breaking the scale in two, two shapes, you can get to do a whole scale with just two shapes. One's a major sound, like our D chord, and if I go to the third fret and get the first string third fret, second string second fret, a little small slant, that becomes a minor sound. That would be like an E minor. We're not gonna worry so much about what it's called, but just that's minor. So the first fret is major. It's got, takes two frets there, and this takes uh, one fret, minor. And keep going with that minor shape, go to four and five, and then we go to five and seven, and that's halfway. So I'm gonna do that a couple times, just kind of strum it with my thumb, like an easy going strum to hear what it sounds like. There's the first shape, D, then the second fret, third fret, a minor sound, the second notch, Two frets again, four and five, another minor, then you get up to five and seven, and that's a G sound, a G chord sound. That's halfway, so we go halfway, and we're gonna scoot, keep that same shape there, five and seven, take it to the next starting point. It's gonna be the same shapes again, same pattern, starting with seven and nine. And then we have nine and 10, the small slant again, All right? And two more frets, 11 and 12. The big finish is way up there, 12 and 14. That's a whole scale. So listen to that one time. I'll do it two strums. They're here, the, just doing those drones on the bass. Beautiful. Kind of makes you just want to relax by the stream or something. Sip on a lemonade. Read a book. Watch some birds fly by. Man. See, hear that sound? So what you could do with that, an exercise there, you could pick the first string in a brush and the second string do the high string and the low string with brushes in between or opposite low string and then the high string uh, with the brush between. I'll give you an example of what that sounds like. So I'm just going to do the low and then the high because that low string is our scale note. Second string and the first. I'll do it twice. Change shapes to small slant, two and three. Beautiful. Move that a whole step, four and five, keeping that small slant. That's another D chord sound too. So five and seven, you're really in a G chord sound. That's halfway point. We go a whole step to seven and nine. That's like an A chord sound. And then we're gonna go nine and 10, small slant, low string in the high. Keep that shape, two frets. Yep, 11 and 12. Then the big finish, the double dot, and 14, 12 and 14. Now I'm gonna do it the other way with the first string and then the second string. No, first string brush, second string brush, and the harmonized scale in D. It's a beautiful sound. You'll recognize it in a lot of banjo players just doing their songs and tunes and melodies all kind of fall into place uh, if you know these shapes a little bit. So here's the first string and the second string. Sounds very different. Sounds like Skip to my loo. Now the second shape, the third and second fret, fifth and fourth, I'm counting. Seven and five, thinking of the high string first. There we go. 10 and nine, 12 and 10, oops, oh, sorry, 12 and 11. You hear it when it's wrong, that's a good thing that I did that, because when you hear something not right, say, okay, I got the wrong shape, it's the other shape, because we're only using two shapes, so that's a pretty good, pretty good tip there. So I did this. I said, whoops, that's not right. There we go, 10, uh, 12, and 11, and then 14 and 12. And also, maybe you can play from high to low. I'll do it just one each shape, and let you hear what it sounds like a little faster. So try that harmonized scale, just strumming. Get it. You can really hear the scale. 
you can do it kind of fast and your fingering on those small slants you can use the first and third finger or your first and second the fingering of the shapes can vary depending on what you're doing but two of those shapes are going to come in handy for black eyed susie because we're going to go up to that that shape the third notch that five and four and we're going to work the first and the second string a lot so one and two and you can kind of do focus on one and the second can be kind of a brush but the second string is a melody so first and second then we scoot down to that three and two. Then we go to our D chord. Let's just try that a few times. That's the first part of Black Eyed Susie. And the D chord. Then we're gonna have a little phrase, open first, and the second string open, and the third string second fret. So, so it'd be like, uh, just the first verse to hear how just how this fits in the song. Black eyed Susie went to town. All she wore was a gingham gown. And then we go to uh, Hey Black Eyed Susie. Let's do that again. And I'm going to give you a couple other things to throw in there to make it a little uh, little more elaborate. But you don't have to do it. You can do just what I did. Here's the simple, the easy going version first. Five and four. One and two is the string back and forth. the verse not too bad right so a couple of things we can do to fancy that up if you want to put a little more uh, embellishment in there is go uh, start out the same way here I'm gonna go do that start the same way but then I'm gonna go uh, what an open pull off this is a little little bit elaborate but a really good technique on the left hand I pick the second string with my right hand you know index then I pull off on the first string open and put it back down on the second fret so it's going to be open, pull off. So I get that second note with my left hand, kind of like magic. So right hand gets the second string, then my left hand pulls off on the first string and gets the open string like I'm picking with my left hand. Put it down the second fret. And it sounds like a... You've heard that sound before. Listen when I do that, and then I'm going to give you one other technique, back-to-back -back, uh, fancier techniques. I'm gonna do the old, we've worked on this a little bit, so the crossover lick, my right hand gets the first string index, my thumb drop thumbs, we know that drop thumb, we've learned that right, so it's a drop thumb, index thumb, but then my index gets the second string, that's where it crosses over, so it's crossover. So let me just let you hear those two fancier uh, maneuvers and see what you think, so with that added, it's like this. It's a little more banjo-y sound. So I'll do it slow a couple times. And we'll just think about that. You could even do, on those shapes, you could do that crossover lick. You could throw that in a lot of places. Every other time. So I'll do it nice and slow. So, black-eyed Susie went to town. Here's that open pull-off. All she wore was a gingham. Crossover lick there. Let's look at the second part. It's just a hey, black eyed Susie, ho, black eyed Susie, hey, black eyed Susie, ho. So it's the second string and keeping that D chord down on the first string, second fret. And we're going to do that. This is where that open pull off is going to come in even more handy. If you don't do it in the first part, you'll want to try it on the chorus, I think. So here you go second string brush, open pull off. And then we're just going to go open first, down to the second open, and the third string, second fret. I'll do that a few times. So here's the start of the chorus. Okay, over and over a few times, that first phrase. Again, you could do that crossover and add more notes in there, but let's just try it a little simpler, just doing the uh, open pull-off. Second string brush, open pull-off. One, two, three, three. That's the strings. First phrase of the chorus. Then we go second string again, second string, we're going to go lower, the third string, second fret, open third, you go low string and you get to slide to the fourth fret, 
and the third string. Listen to that second phrase of the chorus. Uh, there's the second phrase. And we go back and forth. So the whole chorus would sound like this. Hey, little black-eyed Susie Ho. Black-eyed Susie Hey, little black-eyed Susie Ho. Without, you can do just the first string and get that melody. Kind of catch. And that sounds perfectly good, too, for the uh, the jam kids there trying this. Look at this. You could just do that first string. We're getting to be experts at first string melodies. So you could just do that five and three. Sounds good too. Right? And if you, you just experiment, you might hear people go, add a little flourish. So you're going to hear all kind of different versions fiddlers get going. They add stuff to it. But right now, let's keep it kind of easy going. I'll do some verses there and give you some words to think about. But uh, remember that harmonized scale is a great thing. And then uh, we'll try a little Black Eyed Susie nice and slow. But it's just those two. It's got that small slant and the, the bigger slants are two shapes. And we can throw in the open pull off. And what I would do is just do the open pull off over and over a little bit before I even do the song. Just try that second string's featured. You pull off to the first string left hand, get that note, put the second fret down, first string, fifth string. And you might can make it like a. Just do that much as a lick. Go back to the second string and do a brush. So like a, the open pull off, second string, brush, starting over, note, brush, open pull off, second string, brush. Yeah. I can do that all day. That's beautiful. All needs a porch. Maybe a rocking chair. So open pull off, open pull off, and the other trick was going that uh, the crossover. You had that index, a drop thumb, and then your index gets the second string right where the thumb picked, and then your fifth string, and then you're working that third string melody to an open soas. Got Susie nice and slow there. Uh, and you can always slide. I might try it with just the one string a little bit and try the two string chords and uh, see what we get there. You could even play it low, and I guess I should mention that. If you played it low, it would be something like this. You could just go down to the seventh fret and the fifth fret and the fourth fret. You don't have all the melody low, just go to that second fret. Seven, back to the one string stuff, but low. Five. And that was to be a great variation for singing with, so I'll throw that in there. And then the, the chorus will have to go back to where we were doing it there. So, and you could slide, and a really good thing to remember, just the same note, and notice that fifth string, uh, I mean the fourth string, sorry, the low string, the bass string, you gotta go to the seventh fret to get the same note you have on the first string on the fifth fret. So that's uh, good to know, right? So you can get the same melody, it's gonna be two frets different, so. A little additional thing to confuse us, if not uh, make it easier. So here we go, Black Eyed Susie. I'll play it uh, one strings, two strings, low, and we'll just see where Black Eyed Susie winds up. And I'll give you some words, nice and slow though. So just kind of getting that. Let's get the rhythm going. I think 
think I'll play the chorus first to get it. Anything can happen. Black eyed Susie went to town. All she wore was a gingham gown. Hey, black eyed Susie, ho. Black eyed Susie, hey. Black eyed Susie, ho. Black eyed Susie. that one it's a great song a lot of people will sing along when you do that it's got a lot of great uh elements those two string chords the one string approach or the low string just mix it up and uh grab on to them and let the banjo lead the way and uh it's a great way to while away some time there so pick that banjo and uh, it'll make you smile and some other folks too i think so thanks for checking in we'll do some more 